I'm breaking my own rules here, I know that. About an hour and a bit after this video is going to be published, we will have an Oilers game, so the idea of me making an Oilers video a little bit before that game actually begins is kind of bad because you kind of know it, right? YouTube philosophy. You want to get the people when the people are available to watch if people are going to be watching a hockey game at the same time this video is uploaded then it's kind of not the right time to do that. But screw it! I'm doing it anyway because this video is going over a player that is not going to be playing today for the Oilers against Toronto. You have yourselves Miko Koskinen, goaltender for the Oilers, and one of the reasons Dave Tippett highlighted that they lost against the... Who the heck was it that they lost against? The Rangers! Yes! Can't believe I forgot. It was literally a day ago. But either way, Miko Koskinen was blamed by Dave Tippett for the loss. He straight up called out Koskinen in the media. If we go over to the quotes that he had, it does kind of paint itself in a very bad picture. He says this the other day. It's a brutal mistake talking about the turnover that Koskinen had, which led to a Lafreniere goal five minutes in. What are you going to do? Call it what it is. We're playing well. It's a brutal mistake. I thought we did a lot of things well tonight, but our goaltender wasn't very good, and we didn't have enough pucks at net to get back at the game. Now, I went on an entire spiel yesterday discussing how these comments are pretty bad, in my opinion, because you never blame your goaltender for a loss. You guys only scored one goal. Who are you to go out there and say, yeah, you know, we played well, but our goaltender just wasn't very good? There's this entire thing I wanted to go over here, too, when it comes to Dave Tippett and his apparent bias when it comes to goaltenders. Here's a tweet from Sports Archivist who talks about Dave Tippett's bias. Pick one is the post game when Koskinen allowed four goals and we scored one. I thought we did a lot of things well, goaltender wasn't very good, yada yada yada, this is the same thing. Second picture is when Smith allowed six goals and we scored four. We weren't giving up much, then the tying goals were deflections from way out. Sometimes it happens. It's a seeing eye puck that finds its way in. This tone kind of implies that it's not really the goaltender's fault. And then the third pick is post-game when Smith allowed four goals and we scored two. Smith was good in the net. Out of the net, he moved the puck really well. Hung him out to dry on a couple of those odd number breaks that he didn't have any chance on. Good for him to get back out there and get going. Now, these tweets, these quotes, are literally within the past week and a half. So Dave Tippett has gone out there with a very different attitude when you're highlighting the recent performances of Mike Smith versus the recent performances of Miko Koskinen, where Smith gets, oh, it was a seeing eye puck, not really his fault. Oh, he played really well. He just got hung out to dry. Koskinen gets the, yeah, we played well. The goaltender just wasn't good. Now against Toronto, it will be Mike Smith in about an hour and a half from this video's upload time. This is what Miko Koskinen had to say when responding to Dave Tippett and his comments. The article comes from YLE.FI. This is a Finnish media outlet going over their sports category right here. We're going to translate this article from Finnish into English and read along right here. Goaltender Miko Koskinen, who has fallen into the teeth of the media and coach in Edmonton, responds sharply to the criticism. He says, I can't score goals. Around Miko Koskinen, the pressure is harder than ever before in Edmonton. After his last defeat, the coach also gave a full-fledged criticism of the Finnish goaltender. The article starts out with the little summary that we gave over here, how the Oilers lost against the Rangers and how Dave Tippett went out there and blamed the goaltender. He announced at the outset that his own team's goalkeeping wasn't very good. The coach also called on the media to call Miko Koskinen's loss of the puck behind his own goal, behind the opening hit, an honestly gruesome mistake. And Tippett wasn't completely on the way. Koskinen's loss of a puck in the corner was indeed a terrible and significant mistake for the match, and the team's Finnish champion did not reach his best in the match anyway. There were certainly old wounds in the background, as the loss was the sixth in a row for Koskinen. He still hasn't won any matches since the first day of December. Oh boy, that's really bad. Tippett's message was still exceptionally strong. The public shouting of your goalkeeper contained a strong message, which may well make even the final crack between the Miller and the club. Okay, that's probably something that's lost in translation that I'm not getting, but we're going to go ahead and proceed with it. Koskinen has been under hard milling in Edmonton for almost three years now, but now the rounds in the pressure cooker are hotter than ever before. This is what YLE Sports did. They reached out to Koskinen from Toronto, where the team is preparing for their last match of their away tour. That's a good way to put it, eh? 
Okay. The goalkeeper reacted moderately to the coach's comments, at least in public. That's how it usually goes in this business, Koskinen says. When a team is doing badly, either the coach or the goalkeeper is sacrificed. It doesn't feel nice to anyone when you're thrown under the bus, but those coaches' comments didn't evoke any more strange thoughts in me. You just have to go to the next game, Koskinen formulates. There is an entire piece talking about how Koskinen has not really been treated any better in the media. The Athletic talked about him and how they should trade this guy. And they go over the statistics saying, okay, rebound percentage, 90%, 3.19 goals against and all that. It's not good. Koskinen can be found on the border of 10 matches played in the percentage of defense, whatever the heck that means. There was no criticism from the beginning of the season, Koskinen says. But now, it comes from all over. After losing six matches to the tube, what in the world does that mean? Lost in translation, I guess. Everyone here gets nervous because what we do is being monitored so intensely. Each situation and goal is carefully analyzed. Here it is, because hockey evokes so much emotion and passion in people. My own playing is still felt pretty good. Of course, you always have to be able to improve, Koskinen says, as if throwing the ball back to catch the coach. It must also be said that in the six games I lost, the team has scored seven goals. I can't score goals. It's not always up to the goaltender alone to win or lose. The whole team needs to play better in the future. Oh boy, what a great comeback right there. In the games that I lost, the team has not scored more than seven goals. I cannot score goals. This is why Dave Tippett is so biased towards Mike Smith. Because Mike Smith, guess what? The guy has scored a goal. Koskinen has not done that. Now, obviously, I'm joking, but isn't it kind of wild how a team that has McDavid and Dreisaitl, their biggest problem right now is that they can't score goals? Dude... Ay, 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 you talk about the reputation of the Oilers being all this stuff, two-player team, whatever, whatever. We said earlier in the year how they were great. I remember talking about that. I remember being pretty hyped up because I was like, yeah, I want Connor McDavid to go out there and get 164 points on the season. But now it's just, wow, this team cannot score any goals. They can't support their goaltender and... As a result, you have Dave Tippett going out there blaming guys in the media only for them to retaliate and say, yeah, well, I only let in seven goals in the six games I played. I can't score goals, what the heck are you doing? Now, obviously, when you think about it holistically, the way every individual game goes, you can't just put a blanket and cover every game by using one statement or whatever. Every game is different, right? And the previous game where Koskinen let in a few, there was a 4-1 to one decision at the hands of the Rangers. That's obviously not a game where Koskinen could be proud of, but at the same time, we said it yesterday, man, the team only scored one goal. So, Dave Tippett, as I said, you know, I thought it was unfair before where Tippett laid all the blame on the goaltender despite the fact that they only scored one goal, but this pattern has been upholding itself for the past few games. So... Koskinen, unless you start scoring goals, I guess there's no real way to get out of this doghouse that you're in. I mean, I guess it's not really a doghouse. He's still getting some games, right? It's just the public scrutiny from the coaching staff, from the media and all that. The athletic calling for his head to be traded and all. It certainly is a little bit much. Now, can he be better? Yes, I said this yesterday too. Can Koskinen be a better goaltender? Absolutely, he can. It's just, maybe he's not the biggest problem right now. Maybe the biggest problem lies in somebody like Mike Smith, who is not scoring any goals. That guy's got a goal to his name. Why is he not going out there and helping out this offense? Okay, I'm joking again. But you kind of get the point, right? Talk to me in the comments what do you think about Miko Koskinen and his response to his own coach saying, yeah, I mean, the coach is not wrong. I still can be better, but like, I'm playing pretty all right. And this team in front of me can't score any goals. Let me know in the comments all your thoughts. Also, the link to this article in Finnish will be in the description. So if anybody actually understands or reads Finnish and wants to translate all the stuff that I said was kind of lost in translation, then please go ahead and do that. I'm very interested in seeing where the Google Translate differs from what actually might be the case. Maybe things are verbatim correct, but there's a connotation meaning that is a little bit different from language to language. So I'm not really too sure. Let me know in the comments if you're Finnish and you want to go ahead and do that. But I hope you enjoyed this video either way. Social Dodge Trolls 99 and bye.